you guys have probably seen reports that Warzone 2 and MW2 are losing players faster than expected. I made a joke tweet when I started to hear the news about this to farm some quick uh, Twitter impressions. But to be honest, that tweet wasn't completely a joke. I think Call of Duty has really just shot themselves in the foot with this whole live service trying to optimize the game for nothing but player retention. A lot of people don't know, but Call of Duty and Activision make their big money now in microtransactions from people buying bundles. And the best way to sell these bundles is to have as big as possible of a concurrent player base. And so because of this over, I mean, many years now, Call of Duty has been trying to design their game to keep players playing as long as possible. And it's turned it into, I mean, what Warzone 2 now is just this super dull, no skill gap, no learning curve FPS game that you just don't feel like playing after a month because there's nothing new to learn. I watched a video uh, not too long ago that Marksman made talking about this and ranting about this on stream and his points were super, super good. I think Marksman usually sticks to the regular multiplayer SND for the most part, but I think a lot of his points go along with Warzone 2. Actually, I think a lot of them work better with Warzone 2. Call of Duty has never been a super in-depth high skilled game apart from COD 4 Pro Mod, which wasn't even an official Call of Duty development. It was made by well, players. But over the last like four or five years, it has just gone absolutely crazy with the amount of microtransactions making the publishers and the developers change the game to try to get people to play as long as possible. That's why we have things like SBMM now. But a lot of these other changes that have dumbed down the game even more than it already was before, it just doesn't make me want to play the game for very long. And it's obvious that that's how a lot of other people feel. There's so few mechanics to learn in this game compared to a game like Counter-Strike or, or Apex. Dude, Apex has been out for like three or four years now and it's already destroying Warzone 2's numbers on Steam. And I think the biggest reason for this is because Apex has so many different mechanics to learn. I mean, it, it'd take hundreds and hundreds of hours. Whereas Call of Duty Warzone 2, the, the movement, the gunplay, the aiming, the shooting, all of it is just so easy and boring. And, and there's nothing new. It's, it's the exact same thing that we've had for years and years and years, but even more simple. You guys know that I haven't really cared to play the regular multiplayer of a Call of Duty for a long time. Honestly, probably since Black Ops 3. And that's just because it doesn't change ever. The only thing that has really ever changed drastically in Call of Duty multiplayer is, well, one, jetpacks, you know, bringing Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, IW and all that shit. And then also Ground War, which you, if you, if you watch my channel, I absolutely loved Ground War in 2019 in uh, MW2, it was absolutely garbage. But now with the more recent CODs, they've actually just made it worse and worse. Marksman talks about it in, in his video where they just do not want to reward you for being a good player at all. They're so hell bent on this idea that if a new player joins and he runs into a good player, he's just instantly gonna stop playing the game right there and never play it again. And I'm sure for some people, this is probably true, but at least for me and I think a lot of other players, when they see somebody who is just so much better than them, it makes me want to play the game more and get better at it and potentially be as good as that person. And so I think when these new Call of Duties are out for a month and most of the people who are going to stop playing the game regardless, you're left with these people who play the game maybe a couple hours a day, but because there's there's just nothing else to learn in the game. They don't want to play it. You don't see any progression in your gameplay like you would with Apex. Not to mention the only thing to really grind for was the camo, which if I'm being honest, the mastery camo, I forget what it's called, Orion or whatever, was really underwhelming. Like they just expect you to be completely fine with a game, pretty much the same game that we've been getting for over a decade. But somehow now it's even more dumbed down 
dull and boring. I know a lot of people are, are going to absolutely hate this opinion, but I really feel like Call of Duty going back to jetpacks or some kind of advanced movement would be really good for the franchise. I feel like we need a hard reset from all of this just super linear one-way movement and gunplay that we've been getting for a while now. Call of Duty obviously can't keep on going the way that they're going now because e even with Warzone 2, the player count dropping more than they expected it to, the last two Call of Duties have not been good either. Actually, I think Vanguard was like one of their worst. And you guys know my opinion of Cold War. Cold War was actually my least favorite Call of Duty ever. It was so garbage. And one of the only reasons that you even have this many people playing this Call of Duty, I feel like, is because just nothing else has come out in the last two years that's stuck. The FPS genre is so fucking boring right now that just nobody seems to know what to make. We've had a few indie FPS games come out, you know, here and there, like Shatterline or Super People, but I think both of those games are completely dead now. I, I, th I think Super People is going bankrupt. So then your only options are FPS games that are honestly a lot better than Call of Duty, but have been out for years now, like Apex and Valorant and Counter-Strike. It's just really sad to see the route Call of Duty is taking at the moment. I, st I still think at the core, Call of Duty's mechanics and gunplay are just so good. It, it just sucks that they keep dumbing it down and they're really losing what Call of Duty, what what made what made Call of Duty fun. Like, I don't I don't need crazy movement. You know, I don't, I don't need some crazy Titanfall or Apex movement. Just something to spice it up a little bit, man. You've also probably seen a lot of YouTubers and streamers and shit talk about how the viewership for Warzone 2 and MW2 is pretty god awful and it's for the exact same reason you just there's so little chances to have crazy flashy plays in this game because the mechanics are so simple and repetitive i mean man in warzone 2 it feels like almost every gunfight is just the same thing like one of the only things that really made warzone 2 have some unique moments was the voip the the, the proximity voice chat but unfortunately now that the game has gone, what is it, two months into its life cycle, a lot of people don't even use the voice chat anymore. So it's just so difficult to make exciting, entertaining content on this game. Black Ops 3 was when my channel really blew up, and I think it's because the advanced movement, even though a lot of people really didn't like it, it brought something new to the game that was exciting, and it, and it lets you do just way crazier shit. And I think now we've actually just regressed so much. I mean, man, when MW2 and Warzone 2 first came out, just like usual, I think I probably had like 25 different friends on my Steam list that were playing the game. And now I'm not even kidding you. I think I might have two friends that play either of those pretty consistently. And the only reason for that is because they're other streamers and YouTubers and it's literally their job. I don't know. That's just a bummer, man. Call of Duty, I think, is still my favorite FPS game. It's just, um, it's really frustrating seeing what Call of Duty is doing with it and seeing how they are just losing players and just don't want to do anything about it. Infinity Ward is done with Warzone 2 now and they've handed it over to Raven and it's just seeing, it's, it's so funny seeing Raven now basically just rolling back all of the changes with Warzone 2 and instead of like, improving them they're actually just making it what it was in warzone one like the, the gulags going back to uh 1v1 gulag and everybody's praising it like bro it's it's literally we've made no progress anyways enough of the ranting um i'm at this point i'm really just hoping that well one either call of duty i think is now going into a two-year cycle at least so we're not getting a call of duty this year i don't think we're getting one next year Hopefully that will bring some good changes to the games. But I think the main thing that I'm hoping for is that we get some kind of Apex Legends release where somebody please come along and release an FPS game that just absolutely destroys Call of Duty so I can switch off of this shit. Because Call of Duty has really just been 
dropping the ball and has been super disappointing for a while now. Anyways, guys, I actually was really curious because I was talking about this on stream and it was completely like split in half. Would you guys be down for them to bring back some kind of advanced movement in Call of Duties? It, like I said, it doesn't have to be jetpacks, but something, even if it's like apex moving with fast movement, fast sliding, maybe some wall climbing, shit like that. Would you want to see that? Or are you guys still completely fine with it staying boots on the ground? Let me know in the comments. Also, thank you guys for watching the last video. As you know, my YouTube channel got hacked and I've been stressed like crazy recently. But the last video on the fan made SM2 Call of Duty mod just absolutely slapped. It did so good view wise. So thank you guys for supporting that. Yeah. Anyways, boys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.